Hi everybody, just a little tip for you, something that is going to help you with your pole float fishing and it's something I do when uh, every float I get I do this with and I think it's really important. How many times have you been fishing and the line's marked on the float and you get a float and it marks and everything like that or the eye comes out or the worst thing for me is when you're fishing and you're fishing like this, that and it sinks slowly through the day like that. And you take a shot off and it never settles the same, does it? It's never right and then it goes like that and it's a nightmare. Now, not every float does that. Some, some don't, some do. But I never take chances. If I get the, the pole float that I particularly like and want, this is what I do. I get some nail varnish hardener. I just get that and uh, I, I just get it from, I get it from Asda to be honest with you. And all I do with every single float that I get, I do, without exception, this is what I do. I just get it, you get a little brush with them, and I brush it there. And as you can see now, I'm brushing it all over the body, and especially where the eye is, and at the bottom of the bristle. Because at the end of the day, the bristle goes in, if you haven't had enough glue on it, then you just never know. Don't be afraid of putting quite a bit on it, so I do the bottom as well, and I do the whole body. And one of the most important things is make sure that you do it around the bottom of the bristle. So I've covered it in nail varnish hardener. Now that don't take long to do. And all I do, I just get that and I put it, I have a little, little box there, it's uh, where, I, where I keep all tissues. And it's perfect because I can put the, the bristle on one end and overlap it. And I just pick them up, float by float, and I do that and I just take my time. I only put one coat on, I don't do any more than that. I just find that every single float that I do, I do this with. And it takes a second or two to do it like that. Simple. But trust me, it makes a massive difference, especially when it starts sinking during the day. And it take, we, we, we say it takes water in, whether it does or not, I'm not quite sure. But all I know is it's a nightmare because once you take a shot off, it's never the same. It doesn't matter what shot you put on, it's never the same. So, just another little tip for you while we're doing this. Is when you're doing this, don't be afraid of putting it on because what happens is, even if you blow the eye up with varnish, don't worry about it. All I do, then I get a size 14 hook and I put it into the eye and clean it out like that when it's hard. Do it when it's hard and then you make the hole in and it cleans it out. So every time that you get a new float, just get some nail varnish hardener. Trust me, it makes a massive difference. It strengthens the bristle up, it strengthens the body up and it makes sure that water doesn't get in. It's a great little tip. And there's an extra advantage as well. My nails have never been better. Hope you've enjoyed that. Make sure every time you get a float, you put a nail that vanish harder on it.